out with the old in with the new we are in a new office space i'm so excited to show that to you and before we do all that i want to give you a quick overview of my old space and how it's looking almost everything is gone i'm going through the dressers right now i have my desk all gone besides this one right here and it is looking empty i am in the middle of moving and with that requires a lot of packing reorganizing and of course the decorating part and now that it is fall season i thought it was the perfect opportunity to show you my new space and the fall uh, decorations. So this is a fall office tour and I am excited to show you everything and what's gonna be in store for this fall season. Good morning. So the sun is finally coming up. We are at 7.03 in the morning, but the air is nice and cool. And I have my Pug and Spice sweatshirt on, so I'm so excited. So I am just made my coffee, and what I'm going to do is take Tux out so he can go to the bathroom. And then it is time to get writing, and I got to show you the progress of the office and what I need to put away. I set up my monitors this way, but I feel like there's a problem that either this chair that I'm using is too low or I need to lower the this thing here but then it's gonna to be too close here. So I haven't quite decided how that's gonna work, but I do like having it portrait for like reading and stuff, but it's just on the top end here, it's too high, it's too uncomfortable to look at. So I don't know if this is going to work, but I did it before and I don't know what I, did to make it work because I don't believe I ever changed the height of the metal or the middle thing but I don't know but isn't it so cute so cozy I have my keyboard my headphones here don't know if that's where I want them or not and then I got random paper and stuff but I think it's cute and a little sneak peek I got a little boo thing up here my coffee bar um, coffee cart and then I got all my desk stuff which let me just say it is a mess I've been thinking that I actually want to change how my desk is set up and I think it, right it's all about feng shui and so I think that if I have my computer this way facing the door and then where my computer is now with this cute little background would be my filming and I think I can use my little um, tripod arm that I could use my DSLR for both views top down and then up and then I'll just have my webcam on my monitors the quality isn't as good um because i mean it's a webcam but then i have this as a background if i want to be less distractive than this cute little cozy corner but i am doing something cool i think 
I want to put my book covers on my wall and I don't know is if I want to do them what I'm looking at or have them behind me but I was thinking I could do behind me are the ones that are published and then front facing are the ones that are work in progress so it's inspiration like I'm working on that um so it gives me motivation to continue writing. I don't know, haven't thought about that, but more to come that won't be done uh, by the fall tour. Um, but it is what it is. So thinking about my desk, we'll see how it goes, but I'm almost done with cleaning up. Then I could give a fall tour and then I could publish that video and this kind of vlog might go in with the fall tour. Um, or not. We'll see. It is the next day because I didn't finish doing all the vlog. My little gimbal um, died and so we are here. It is 6.32. We make myself some coffee. I set up, which let me flip you around. I am busy cutting out my cute little seasonal computer screens, which I'm going to use for word count, and I think they're really cute, and I'm thinking about launching these, so bringing back my sticker shop for more writing and um, author -y stuff to kind of help me with productivity and maybe some inserts will be coming. I don't really know yet, but I thought I'd print off all the seasonal ones and get ready because, you know, it's almost NaNoWriMo and so I'll be wanting to put these in my planner. And I also created these ones here that say like work in progress, title, goal, and total. So I could do that with these and finishing that up you could probably hear it in the background and I'm just eating um, some ramen right now it's like the chili one and I had my battery charging so I'm able to finish the new October setup because it's here crazy and I also have another video to film I'm busy busy and I need to write in my Christmas story since that is going to be releasing at the beginning of December, so I need to finish it up. So going over what I did yesterday was I made these really cute stickers. So yeah, morning and evening routine stickers that I did. Um, I got my work in progress stickers as well, and then I just printed off all of my um, seasonal theme stickers of the little laptops for like word count but they're not large enough so we're gonna be on this one here so we're working on October I didn't make them large enough to actually put the word count so that's something I have to decide is if I want to sell these and then if so do I need to make them a little bit larger? So that's something to think about. But then I put together this. Okay, so this is a rocket book. I have the rocket book or rocket cards, the note cards. So essentially it has these little QR codes so it digitalizes what you have written. And then it'll convert it um, to text but it also saves it into um like what OneDrive or google drive dropbox whatever you have and i thought i would try to do this is i don't like the size it's kind of big but there is a benefit with it being big is look at i'm like reading <laughs> um so i have what i need to have my scene and see 
seam sequel. So I have those written out and then these are the beats going down. So what I could do is just write a little snippet for each one of these and then I could take this, it'll convert it to text if I write clearly. Um, then I could add that to my Word doc and I have actually been using Scrivener. So I'm playing around with it because I have like the 30 day trial that they um, give which is mainly for, I think, NaNoWriMo, so you can use it for the whole month. It is, I don't know, I kind of like it, but I need to figure out what's the best way to set it up for how my brain works. But I like that there are all the folders and then there's the custom me metadata, which is where I'm putting all that scene information in. But with that, if I'm doing this, I don't think I need to put the scene data there and maybe I just need to put more information like what the weather is, what day it is, what the time frame is, all of those little details and not the scene related stuff because I'll have handwritten that. And that's what I need to find is the balance between handwriting and digital and it's just I can't quite grasp it is I really like the hand um, even like handwriting I'm more descriptive which is something I need to be better at and when I'm just typing or when I'm doing dictation I just can't get those descriptors out um, which is kind of interesting because if you think about storytelling it was always oral back in the day, right? Everyone told their stor stories through word of mouth. And then eventually, right, we got to the handwriting part and then later into the typing. So you would assume that we would be better at describing uh, and doing the dictation aspect, but I don't know. Maybe it's just, it's just not for me and I need to get... Um, more of the tactile so the actual writing aspect of it I don't know I'm gonna be kind of playing around with that trying to get that but once I get Scrivener set up I'll probably do a video of how I set it up for my cozy mysteries but right now it's just kind of like uh, working I'm trying to still get the hang of it but it's been good thus far and time to make some coffee the day has finally come that we are doing my fall office tour. You can little see it. And I'm going to take you down the road <laughs> and show you what I have in store for the office and a few things that I need to do. Um, and I'd love to hear your feedback because I haven't decided and I need some input. So let's go. Here we are. This is my office. So we are actually going to start here at the bookshelf because this is why you guys are all here. I have my bookshelf that is decorated for Halloween and I absolutely love it. It is so fun. Next to it, I have my planner cart, which is for, I guess, side books and other things. So on this very bottom shelf right here, this is my writing books and more, I guess, businessy books. So I have that. And then I have my laptop and bag right here. And then I have, um, my journals and Bible. And then right there is a potion to die for, which is October book club book. So I have that. Then I have this super comfy chair. It is a recliner. And of course you are the pumpkin to my spice. So cute. Got a nice window right there. And I have my little welcome sign. So this is the first thing that you see when you enter. Then moving over, we have my desk. So it is not feng shui, I know, but 
the outlets in this room. I had to do it this way. But the idea is the L shape, so I have that. And yes, that is just printed off book covers that I just did with painter's tape. So the idea is to have all my released books on the wall. Haven't decided if I want it here or across the way, which I'll show you in a bit. But we have the desk. So we have my office chair and my setup for my planner videos. This is an Ikea Alex desk with the drawers. Um, just pulling them out. So I got like my plans for um, the week for my planner and just basically say hello, Tux. <laughs> We got some pumpkin spice stuff, my planner, and then my computer set up with my planner and webcam and then little cute little boo. So that is my desk. This is the other option for my book covers. These are just kind of placeholders if I want to do that. And I still need to hang up my um, shooting range little dummy guy there. He's going to go in the um, center of that. Then we are going over here. This is the coffee corner. So how cute. Courtney flag. Love it. Um, so we have my coffee maker, my soda stream, a little, um, my candle warmer, which has the Scentsy. I could get it. Can't, but that is what I have and then in each of these drawers I got my mugs and this one has his tea it is a mess I need to organize it but I have and then these bottom two are just extra stickers and all my planning stuff so there's that and then what did he do you messing with this these are my three pom-poms, which I do need to hang them up in this corner, but haven't gotten to it. And then this is kind of the back side. So we got my two printers, my silhouette, and we have my planner cart, which has the stickers, notepads, um, washi tape, all that jazz. But this is how I did it and I think it turned out really cute. I love the fall theme and everything. So I hope you enjoyed everything on this office tour from what it looked like, the progress, and a little bit of vlog happening and I just want to say hope you are having a wonderful fall months and until my next video. Bye.